Where was Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Nah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve huh. to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Revan, what, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karras told me on the Leviathan, and Basilic confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you, do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Um, Stabby's is someone that Max played uh, a BR with, and then he just kind of fell in. He was one of those people who luckily said, hey, Max approves of you, now you're in. Which seems to be like the way to get into that circle, I've noticed. You gotta like, fall in accidentally. <laughs> More memories won't come flooding back. How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Yeah, well, fa Fosh yeah, Foshes. Eric, I should say, because it's easier. Yeah, he did that too, but he... Once he got, like, that initial one, he kind of went off on his own. Like, you don't see him jumping into all this stuff anymore. Him and Fats really kind of stuck to their own corner. But no, Stabby just came out of left field and was out of nowhere. He's like, oh, he's now part of the group. Well, not really part of the group. He's also friends with Sarah. Because they, they they've been playing the forest together. But yeah, more or less kind of the whole Fauci's treatment. The treatment we all one day seek. To be blessed with. Um, yeah. I see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far. But can I trust you in any of us? Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Oh god, HK's having feelings. Everyone be afraid. Answer. My program is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a focus system that is restoring you, Master. <laughs> Observation. That is unnecessary, Master. My intent is not hostile. I am receiving no combat override commands. More plot reveals. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Bile shredders. Bah! 
The galaxy has no use for them. HK47 laughs at those. What about you, T3? Julie? What about me? I already knew who you were, so it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off than you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Can... Candorous? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Another city trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop this set. I suppose that Malik is the real enemy here. Sure. Jolie is the best incarnation of a true neutral in understanding how the universe works. I wish that more characters like him existed in Star Wars. He would have made the entire movie series different with his perspective. Um... Proving yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. Dude, we saved your kid from the Sith. What else do you need? This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. I gotta say, I love how Karth is all like, I'll stop you if you go bad. Karth, you tried to shoot Malik and you got your ass thrown to the ground. If you challenge Revan, what do you think? will happen to you. And yeah, Karth is just a... Oh. I hate how in the if you play as a female, Karth is completely a fuckboy. Why'd I come here again? Oh yeah, I wanted to see what, they, what he has for um, updated stuff. The most expensive merchant in the game. Do 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 winks. Um, HK and Jolie, because I'm working on your stuff. Oh yeah, P. Auto level up because you pretty much are the tank of stuff. Statement: HK forty seven is ready to serve, Master. <laughs> so, <laughs> you belong to Revan originally? Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Oh, <laughs> It probably worked out better this way. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life. That is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Well, I'll take an improvement. So, um, the meatbag reference? Answer. <laughs> it was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You <laughs> uh, so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. Uh, I, I want to have a headcanon in that through all the bad shit Revan did, he retained his sense of humor and just got giggles 
out of Malik getting frustrated every time. Like, I seriously picture Revan just sitting on his throne, being all devious, and Malik storming in. He called me a meatbag! And then Revan just smirking, going, uh, it worked. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. Ah, oh, God, I love that whole story. Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Star Forger's secrets. Because Revan was smart. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Oh, I can't wait till I get to the KOTOR, too, because I have the, um, removed content. So I can actually see HK deal with his, um, his other stuff later. I kind of wish Renee would play this game, because I want to see her reaction to HK-47. Uh-oh. Yeah, transdotions. Um, I hate transdotions. Mm. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, <sighs> wish I could afford that. Just because of like, let's see. Holy shit! Yeah, more or less transdutions. I hate them on principle, what they do to fucking Wookiees and everything. Jesus Christ. Battle armor, not gonna need that. It's like, now let's give it up all this crap, I'm not gonna... Ooh, Jesus Christ. Darth Bandon's armor, that's light. I'm... Wait, can I use it through the Force? Despite the unfortunate fate Darth Bandon, this light armor remains desirable as out of any warrior. Can I use the Force with it, though? We'll find out in a second. Um... Yeah, that bothers me a lot in this game. Like, I realized it again, replaying it. You really need to save all your credits and hope for the best. Like, it bothers me more. Like, key items, they have no value. You'd think they'd be at least, you know, worth something. I probably should sell my extra lightsabers. Like, I'm not going to be using them. Why do I have Bastila's Saber? Like, I'm starting to think that was the point of this game, is if you didn't use anything, you had to sell it. Which is not a good setup for a game, because a lot of players don't know what they're going to need and what they're going to get rid of. Then there's people like me who are just hoarders and just don't get rid of anything. Don't need that, because I already got one. Don't need that. As you can tell, I have a hoarding problem. Of items. Uh, nope. Whoops. Yeah, rent. Okay, yeah. Nope. Because I know no one can use those. Um, that's. Stun ray. Sh energy level 2. Actually, no, HK needs one of those. Actually, I need to upgrade him first. Upgrade. Yeah, your upgrade is as much as you can get. Yeah, I'm a I am a huge loot whore and pack rat. <laughs> All my video games will prove that I don't get rid of anything. I will wait till the very end of the game, then be like, okay, I'm overhauling all of my inventory and hoping for the best. Stun ray. Okay, you are pretty much set. Whatever I keep will just go to 
I wasn't done talking to you. Sell me. Okay. You got like a ton of... You only have like armor, which I really don't see being useful. Because all my guys have stuff better, so you're pretty much useless. Sorry. I got credits, though. And credits are always useful. Alright, now I just gotta go to... I have to think. What do I have to do left? I have to do... Jahani, Candace, and Jolie's quests. Um... The Hermit in the Hills. Oh, those are all... So all to do really is just... Okay. You did. You said you weren't a Jedi. Not that that makes a difference for most, but as for the order itself, no, I never left it. It left me. What do you mean? You know what I hate? Well, lots of things, really, but I'm old and easily annoyed. That's besides the point. What I really hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect, that they can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. I guess you aren't as stupid as you sometimes act. No doubt you've Thank been you. receiving end of Jedi justice at least once, eh? And I'm not even talking about how some of us fall to the dark side. No, that's plenty indication of our fallibility. But it's something else entirely. No, I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe-wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. Come to think of it, I don't if I got a credit. Here. Someone my age is entitled to ramble, damn it. But for your sake, I'll try to explain. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortaf, I think. Or was it Hortoff? Ah, I could never get it straight. Where was I then? Oh, oh yes, Master Hortaf. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well. But the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into walls, knock over tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, and that sort of thing. And he was too proud to submit to proper treatment. Some used to counsel him in the urge to use the Force, Master Order. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply squinted more and more as the years went on. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. Go on. So, one day a young Padawan meets Master Hordaf in the courtyard and, not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordaf gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. The Padawan is confused, naturally. He asks if Master Hordaf is sure, and of course Master Hordaf says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should ask someone else. But the proud Hordaf now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did as he was told, and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went on to something else, well, we'll never know. Not much. I never knew the Padawan, nor met Master Hordath himself. He was before my time. The tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Ah, uh, story time with Uncle I mean Grandpa Joe Lee is the best. I like how, okay, like, minus the story part of this game, I like how each character had their own quirks, but Joe Lee was the definition of what was needed for this party. We needed a cranky old man who not only was cranky, but when you put him into a fight, he was badass. He was combining Yoda with Mace Windu. 
and it worked. 